What's going on guys? I hope you all have been well. I hope you guys have been uh, enjoying some of the stuff that's been coming out from SHOT Show. Been a lot of photos coming out, a lot of short videos from everybody out there. There's a lot of really good stuff there. So I'll roll some footage through some stuff that uh, I got video or photos of here for you guys to check out. So a couple of the big things that I went to go look at while I was there was Nomad Defense, obviously. I had that video coming out real soon. Uh, facts and firearm stuff, they were coming out with some new things. Uh, stop by CMC Triggers, stop by a ton of different booths, but uh, ETS Group as well, just to see what they were coming out with because people seem to be demanding more and more of magazine companies these days. And uh, I'll just roll some of that stuff in as I talk about it. And then uh, after kind of I talk about a few of these things shortly, there's a, a video of everything in full. Uh, keep getting questions about B-roll and cameras. So I've gotten actually like emails or Instagram message, people telling me, Hey man, if you upped your B-roll or something, I didn't even know what B-roll was. I had, I had to look it up because uh, I'm just not a uh, camera person when I first started getting those emails. So tried to put a little bit of a more entertaining video on SHOT Show for you guys together than the typical kind of tabletop thing that I do here. So hang out after I go over these couple quick things and you can check that out as well. Up first, so Faxon Firearms. Now Faxon has been a producer a long time, barrels and all kinds of stuff. They are actually coming out with a complete gun. Now, you'll be able to look at some of the parts that it's based on. Uh, some of them I've actually reviewed in the past, but they have completely made a slide. They're throwing in some really nice barrels. They're working with a couple different companies as far as Magwell's, the lower receiver. It is not based on a Glock frame. It is based on an aftermarket frame, and it looks really, really cool. ETS Group, another one. They have put a ton of magazines out for people, and they are bringing a lot more to the market. Uh, I did an interview with Stuart out there just real quick, but you can see uh, they've got a 45, a 10 millimeter, uh, some M&P stuff coming out. Uh, I want to say some H&K mags, he said as well. A lot of really good stuff coming out from them as well. And then they may have some different color stuff for uh, people that are into having different colors as well. And Nomad Defense. Now they have just killed it on this Gen 4 lower design. I've had mine for a couple months now. I've been shooting it with multiple uppers and lowers. That full review is coming. That thing has been a tank. Now they had an amazing display. Uh, Dave mods, you know, the, the, the custom stuff, the grips, the slides. They had uh, triggers from Tactical Pontoon, from Overwatch, from Apex, that Norso slides in a gun. They had probably one of the coolest gun displays because they had so many different custom guns in it. And it was like, smaller than the room I'm filming this video in. So it's really awesome. So hang out right now. We'll roll into the kind of cinematic version of it. I appreciate you guys spending your time here with me today. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and let me know what's the weirdest thing you've seen at SHOT Show. What's going on guys, it's Mike again coming back to you from SHOT Show. We are here at the Nomad Defense booth with Andy. Um, I have that video coming out real soon in the Nomad 9 and we're just going to discuss a little bit about the methodology of the frame, specifically grip angle, the index points they integrated into the front and why they went with that two pin design. And then we'll also talk about what is coming out in the progression of the Nomad 9 frame which is going to be a magwell which many of you guys have already asked for. So Andy, uh, what do we got going on with the frame here? Explain to us the methodology and what goes into those points, man. All right, first off, you mentioned the magwell last, so we'll start with yeah. that. This is something that's in the works. We have, uh, this is more of a carry size magwell. We're also gonna be doing a more of a competition or duty size. Okay. Uh, this is in the final prototyping phase where we're probably about three to four weeks out from actually releasing one on the okay. market. Yeah. Um, in terms of the grip angle, which you mentioned, we have three back straps. This one's actually got a medium on it. We have, uh, a large and a small. Okay. The large is going to give you more of your standard clock um, grip angle. 
Okay. Yeah, it's we reduced the bump at the bottom, but we kept the, the angle hump. somewhere. The, the glock famous glock hump. The famous right. glock hump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the medium is, is sort of in the middle, more like a SIG grip angle, and then the small is more of a 1911. Style. My personal favorite. Yeah. That 1911. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I got large hands. I actually like the small as well. Okay. Yeah. Some more versatile yeah. grip angle. Um, in terms of other features we like to focus on, the forward thumb ledges, which you see right here. Um, Give you a, a great index point, and also they allow you to put some downward leverage okay. on the on the yeah. frame as you're shooting. Which and that, really control the, the forefinger and the thumb index is, is huge. Most people have accelerator cuts or grip work done to actually integrate that. Absolutely. Um, we also lowered the bore axis by increasing this distance. So we went as high as we possibly could under the beaver tail here and extended the beaver tail, which gives you uh, you know a little different recoil impulse, a little better control of firearm, and, and we believe helps the reliability as well. So, so. And then you guys, uh, you went with two pin. Yeah, we went with okay. two pin. So explain that a little bit for everybody out there, what two pins compared to three pins is. So the, the, the two pin design uh, is something we decided to do based on our testing. Um, we wanted to eliminate the, the thin section of plastic right above the, the, the top pin right there. And that's a fracture point if you ever have a hot loaded round. It is. Yeah. It is it is a weak point. It's a stress concentration and it's a weak point. So uh, we did a lot of testing both ways and we just decided after after Argus testing that the single pin was the way to go. Um, and it's something that's a little bit simpler and it's just one less place that the guy can fail. And it, it functions perfectly reliably without that top pin. Okay. Yeah. So when are we looking at Mac? Magwells. Magwells, uh, I'm looking to have them out in like four to six weeks. We should have them on the market. Yeah. yeah. Four to six weeks, guys. Maybe sooner. All right, yeah. well, sooner the better. Yeah. Keep your eye on Nomad Defense, guys. Uh, this is their Gen 1. They're going to have uh, improvements as things go on. Correct. Haven't had this thing out at the range shooting factory Glock slides, shooting aftermarket slides from multiple manufacturers. I can tell you this thing ran like a banshee, had zero malfunctions. Uh, they're probably going to be moving uh, big things in the market, guys. So keep your eye out on Nomad Defense. Hey, what's up, guys? We got uh, this big man right here. Hey, Chance what's happening? Protect this group. What's up? What's up? Dude got his own gun from Smith & Wesson MVP. <laughs> That's right. It's dope. That's when you know you got the dopest walk in the game. How's it going? What's up? Oh, we got yeah. Instructor Jay. And Instructor Karen, Hi. from Guardian uh, Training right there. Yep. A little meet up with the get trainers. My, get my good side. Get my, <laughs> get my, good, get my good, side. good side. Good side. <laughs> okay, okay. There you go. I got no face right here. I can't do that one, oh, man. man. What's going on, guys? It's Mike from Tactical Considerations. Again, we're here with ETS Group. Stuart, and he's going to walk us through some of the new products they are coming out with in early April, did you say it was, or March? The next three to six months for sure. Okay, so we got a couple of magazines coming out. We've got a 10 millimeter Glock. 10 millimeter Glock. We'll also be coming out with a 45. We've been getting a ton of requests through okay. Instagram and, and through our customer base for the 10 millimeter and 45. We're really excited about those launching. Um, there's also the uh, H&K BP9 okay. that'll be coming out. It's a big one. It's a lot a big of one. requests on that. Sig 320. I saw uh, some orange. We also we've actually already launched <laughs> yeah. the uh, orange mags. Those are already out. I already got one. Yeah. So <laughs> a lot of people like that. Okay. We will do more colors this year. All right. All right. Uh, I'm not going to give away any any is, colors, but we will be. Is there going to be something for the ladies? I cannot confirm okay. nor deny, but there's going to be something for the ladies. <laughs> and the speed loader. And the speed loader. I mean, if you if you don't already have the speed loader, you're you're only hurting your own thumbs. You're not you're not helping yourself. You're only hurting yourself. I was a doubter. I didn't believe it, and I tried it, and now I own three of them. So. Uh, and I'll tell you like this. I had a guy today talk about. Sorry, I don't know if you guys are cursing. That's me. fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I got that bleep. <laughs> But you know, a guy talking, well, I, I like loading with my thumbs. I said, great, you're gonna get proficient at loading. Nobody likes loading with their thumbs. But you're not gonna get proficient at shooting. So take your time, Absolutely. load prop, load with our loader, and you'll, get, you'll have one. All right. That's terrible audio. All right, guys. It's uh, <laughs> Stuart from ETS Group again, walking us through some of the new product. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. You bet. All right. Thanks.